now that I want to big fight. I want to fight with him. And I understand after you know, the mission, he said, okay, well, only six months. You know, because I know, I understand this. This is not new, not big news for me. You know, I understand my situation. Real, I, I, I feel very comfortable. Uh, obviously, we've all heard the story about how you know you showed up to LAX and stuff like a bad whatever. And I was kind of curious though before that, how how did you guys, how did you find Abel? How did you kind of decide that? How did you hear about him? How did you think this is the guy that I want to work with? I feel you know just know I know him long time. I watched a couple of couple of videos, couple of fights. Like maybe I don't know, maybe interesting for you. Just I remember. Big surprise for me, like uh, Sugar Ray Leonard fight with uh, Terry Norris okay. and uh, Abel Cowan. You know, because this this way very interesting for me. I respect all middleweight champions, like in heroes. There were so many fights, and I remember just one nice guy come to you know for his account. I was like, oh, very interesting. Like, you no know, strategy, tactic, like you know, everything with Sugar Ray Leonard. So he's a huge guy. One in you know, one situation after German, my German name. Like, I call him, just say, I don't want to meet you with you, sir. Just, and I feel him. You know, just, I feeling, you know, like he's a true guy. You know, he's not fake, you know, he's not liar, you know, like, true guy. How, how did you, how, how were you able to kind of see that through the, just the video? Sure, sure, sure. Or was it when you talk on the phone? The the day, 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 day. Maybe you understand, we're going, to, we're going to eat breakfast. Only breakfast. Not dinner, not lunch, only breakfast. To follow up on what Don said, um, I remember when I met you in you know, 2011, 2012, up in Big Bear Lake. Yeah. Little Big Bear Lake. Did Did you think any time that you were going to fight Canelo later on in your career, five, six, seven years later? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know we're yeah we're two or three training camps to build. And <coughs> he said. Same weight like I mean, you know, I stay 160, he stay 154. And he feels he comes to 160, he said, hey, gee, just, you know, we we'll stay we're friendly, you know, because he's young, like different, different type. He said, hey, maybe next couple of years I go to 160. I said, okay, I see 160. <coughs> well, welcome to my middleweight division. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, a mo a ma overwhelming majority of people thought you won the first fight, um, but it, it, it still wasn't like a decisive, overwhelming victory for you. Do you feel more pressure to have like that emphatic victory, especially just for your legacy in general? Of course I will want. Of course I will want. I don't want a decision fight. I will. I mean, I'm working hard every day, but not for decision fight. I like a punch.